Hi, in this video we shall talk about the various customization options available within Zoho Books. We will show you how to create custom fields, custom view, custom buttons, reporting tags, custom status for transactions. Let's take a real business scenario and understand the need for customizations. Let's take a fitness chain as an example. They sell fitness equipments and health supplements, both online and offline. Additionally, they also provide other services and packages. Since the business is fitness chain and they need to maintain the membership ID to validate the customer to use their fitness center. Within Zoho Books, you have predefined fields. And Zoho Books also allows you to create custom fields or additional fields to capture business specific information. To add the membership ID, which is a custom field, go to settings, click on preferences and select contact section. Now click on custom field tab. This tab will list the custom fields which you have already created. Now click on this plus new custom field button. Enter the name of the custom field, which is membership ID. Enter the data type. Since this chain uses just numbers for their membership ID, I'm choosing number here, but you're free to choose any data type based on your requirement. Zoho Books gives you an option to encrypt the data. Say for example, if this is a sensitive data, like a personal identification number, it's better that you encrypt them. Every customer must have this membership ID, so I'm gonna make this as a mandatory one. So customer details cannot be saved without filling up this membership ID. Once that is done, I'm going to simply save this custom field. Now, whenever I create a new customer or say I have an existing customer, I'm going to click on edit. And here under the custom field section, I could see my membership ID created and I can fill in the information for this particular customer. Now, if you would like to display this membership ID in the invoices you create for this customer, you will have to again go back to settings, go to preferences, contact preferences. Here under the billing address format, you can insert the placeholder for the custom field, first the label followed by the values. Save it. And moving on, when you create an invoice, the membership ID will be displayed there. Assume that the fitness chain owner wants to take a look at the list of international orders separately. Zoho Books allows you to set up predefined filters. They are called as custom views. You can create a view for international orders where you can define the criteria so that when the criteria matches, they will be listed under this particular custom view. Let's set this up. I'm going to go to the invoices section and click on all transaction view on the top and click on this new custom view button. I'm going to give this filter a name. Here you can set up the criteria. I have created a separate custom field which captures whether the transaction is an international transaction or not. I'm going to use that here as a criteria. Once that is done, I'm going to select the list of information which I would like to see as columns in the list. Now, you can either share this view with everyone in your Zoho Books organization or you can just set it up for you. Now, save it. Now, when I choose the international order as a view, I will find the list of transactions which are part of the international orders. Likewise, you can set up multiple custom views based on your business requirement. If you look at any transaction within Zoho Books, it goes through different stages. For example, a sales order is created in the draft status and then it is opened and then it's invoiced and finally closed. Assume that the fitness chain owner has a habit of confirming big orders with their clients before proceeding with the actual shipping. So there is a intermediate stage. In such cases, they would want to differentiate the open sales orders from the confirmed orders. Apart from the predefined transaction statuses within Zoho Box, Zoho Books also allows you to create statuses of your own. Let's go to settings, click on preferences and select sales orders. Here, click on add new custom status button. So I'm going to set an intermediate stage for draft statuses. So I'm going to select draft and then I'm going to give the status name order confirmed. 
Likewise, you can create multiple custom statuses based on your requirement. Once that is done, scroll down, save it. Now, when you create a sales order and this is in the draft status, when I click on more, I will find this option order confirm. When I click on it, the status of the sales order is marked as order confirmed. Likewise, you can create multiple statuses and use those statuses to track the stages of your transaction. Assume that the fitness chain owner wants to record sales commissions for every transaction. So every time he usually goes through the transaction, analyze that particular transaction, calculate the commissions manually. This is a tedious manual task. And here's a powerful alternative. Zoho Books allows you to create something called as custom button. So when you click on that button, the sales commission for that transaction will be automatically calculated. This can be achieved with the help of small piece of code. Let's go to settings and click on preferences and select invoices. Here, choose custom button section. Give this button a name and choose who can see this button. Now, you will have to write a piece of code to achieve this as I stated before. This is a dilute script and you can ask us any questions regarding the code. We can also help you with the code and we have predefined set of code to help you out. You can check our help manuals. The code I'm pasting here will automatically create an expense for the commission. When I go to an invoice, when I click on more and when I click on record commission button, then expense will be automatically recorded to indicate that the business had paid the commission to the salesperson. This fitness chain has multiple branches in different locations but the owner wants to know the profitability per branch. Zoho Books has something called as reporting tags. You can create tags for each of the location and associate those tags to the transaction or to the customer. Zoho Books will then use these tags as a filter and give you an accurate report. Let's first create the reporting tag. Let's go to settings, click on reporting tags and click on this new tag to create a new reporting tag. I can give this section a name and then list down the list of tags. So according to my example, location would be the name and then the location name or the city names or the tags for me. And once that is done, I'm going to save this. Now, I can go to contact section and I can associate the reporting tag to that particular customer like this. Or whenever I create a new transaction corresponding to the line item, you'll have this small three line button Click on that and you can associate the tag here. Now, when you go to the report section and when you select a particular report, I'll take profit and loss here to see the accurate per location profitability. I can click on customize report on the top and then associate the location here. So now this report is filtered to give me the accurate profit and loss statement in that location. Likewise, you can create multiple custom tags and use them to filter out your reports. So far, we have seen how to customize Zoho Books to your business needs by adding custom fields, custom views, custom button, custom status, and reporting tags. Let us know if you have any questions, we'll be happy to help. Thank you.